Hello, this is Trevor Angad, and I'll be looking at some note-taking tools that you can use in the classroom. For this presentation specifically, we will be looking at OneNote, Evernote, and Google Keep. In front of you, you see my OneNote, which is organized for different uses, either as a professional, in grad school, or for my classes. The first notebook that I have open, so you'll see off to the left that I have different notebooks that I'm able to open and close and keep handy. Then, in each notebook, I'm able to create different sections that you see here. Then I have my individual notes. So for example, we're in my uh, professional notebook, in my professional development section, and look at a professional development note that I took due to a recent visit to the San Diego Q conference. For this presentation, it was about an online learning professional platform from Capistrano Unifi Unified. As you'll see in this presentation, you're able to insert many different things into a note in a OneNote. For example, you can insert a table, a file, a printout, pictures, online video, a link, audio recordings, meeting details, and so on and so forth. For this one specifically, I took notes and was able to handwrite notes over uh, the slides. So for example, if I hit the draw icon, select a, a pen or a highlighter or an eraser, I can draw right into the OneNote. Eraser is simply the same thing. I just hold down my alternative button on my stylus and delete it. One thing that OneNote is great at is being able to use this as sort of a light learning management system. And so for my criminal civil law class, what I did, and what you do when you create a class notebook, which is found here uh, up at the top, is that I'm able to create notebooks for every single student, as well as there's two spaces that sort of are teacher to student. So for example, in the collaboration space, I'm able to we're, I'm able to create documents that can be edited by both students and teachers. The content library is just for me specifically to be able to store stuff and for students to view, not edit. So for example, in my class, I used uh, Cornell Notes, and so I had a template created for every single unit that we did. All students had to do was come into the content library, copy it, and paste it into their own notebooks. As you'll see for these students, they had no uh, sections that were already created and that I could create at any time, including homework, slides, class notes, and handouts. So in the class notes section, I can pull up Mason's. This is on unit two, which is what are the necessary parts, looking at the necessary parts in order for it there to be a crime. And as we see here, she would type my notes on the slides or as I was presenting in class. And then she was able to draw pictures or I asked to draw pictures on the side of it, which she could do by just using a stylus or her finger using the draw function. Looking back at my notebooks and my sections, in terms of keeping organized for grad school, I have different sections for each of the courses. And then whenever notes are available for each of the courses, I'm able to input uh, any Google Slides or any PowerPoint presentations and mark on top of them. Further, during a class, so for the Reading for Leisure and Learning class, I'm able to pull in a list of all the assignments, be able to mark it up and complete and cross off assignments when I'm finished. One of the other things I like doing is being able to take notes during a professional development meeting, but then you can also take pictures with a mobile app and have it import into the note at the same time. So in this case, while going to a presentation by Dr. Farmer about gateway to visual literacy, I was able to take notes of her slides from sitting in the back of the classroom and then add notes next to it all at the same time going back and forth between the mobile app on my phone and the app here on my laptop. OneNote definitely has my vote to be able to use this in the classroom to keep organized uh, note taking for your students and for yourself both in and out of the classroom. And now we're taking a look at Evernote another option for note taking and organization for in the classroom. Here you're looking at my personal Evernote that I've used a long, long time, going all the way back to 2013 at least. Off to the left you see all my different notebooks, so I keep a notebook for different recipes that I want to reference and look up, or even for items in the Instant Pot. In terms of using this for the classroom, I found it uh, a great resource to be able to share res to share items with students. For example, back during the 2012 election, I wanted students to research the issues for both uh, President Obama and Senator uh, Romney. <clears throat> and so I created notebooks of both Obama issues and Romney issues, and these were issues as presented on their websites. So I was able to grab a screen grab of their website so that they could students could ish could look and research what. Uh, each candidate felt about the issues and what they said about the issues in terms of energy, education, environment, under the Romney one, similar ideas, national defense, Middle East, Iran, uh, China, and East Asia. 
Also, this app does allow for a mobile version where you can jump back and forth and insert images. For example, during my bits of, uh, bits of mentoring, I was able to take pictures during the presentation as, as, I, as I was ta uh, taking notes. If I were to add a new note, I'm able to take notes. It's already put, or I can tell which notebook it's supposed to be put into, as well as add tags. So if I want to add tag for an eTech, add a tag for CSULB, I'm able to go in here and start typing and taking notes into this notebook. Once I close it, it's right here. What I can also do, like Evernote or like OneNote, is take an ink note and use a stylus to be able to draw and write notes into this. They'll automatically save into this notebook as well. And finally, we'll be taking a look at Google Keep, which, as you'll see, I don't think it belongs in the same category as Evernote or OneNote. With that being said, Google Keep is a great place to stay organized and note to end. Google Keep is a great place to take notes, to-do lists, reminders, and to stay organized, but not necessarily to the organizational structure of OneNote or Evernote. As you'll see on the screen, you're able to get to Google Keep either through app or through online web application. So for this note specifically, I have it shared with my work account. So when I bring it up, I'm able to type into, on my phone, answer parent emails, and it should pop up right away to be able to sync right there. So I'm collaborating with my work email account that I can create a to-do list or items to remember when I go into work. Once I'm in a note, I do also have options in terms of deleting it, adding a label. So if I want to add a label of to-dos, I can, as well as I can also do show check boxes where I'm able to do make a to-do list. And then I can also copy this to Google Docs. So in the classroom, you could create different notes or maybe work with students to outline a paper and then students are able to hop into your Google Notes or your Google Keep and be able to download that to their Google Docs. You also have the options of changing colors as well as uh, inserting or drawing a picture. So I can insert images from a recent car crash um, and then I'm able to keep on adding notes. So I showed er talked about earlier how you can create a to-do list. So I can do a shopping list of eggs, bread, milk, and then I can pull it up on my phone once in the grocery store and start checking off items that I've already purchased. You also have different labels that you're able to use to keep everything organized. So if I just click on to-dos, it will only show the note for the to-dos. Other ones will fill and populate as you create more notes. You can also change the view of how these notes look. So if I go back to notes and then just click up here, I'm able to change how they show up in your stream. I also mentioned earlier they're able to draw notes, so if I hit this and then start drawing on my tablet or with my stylus, I'm able to draw around and then that is created and creates a note here. I can also pin notes with like my with work one to always keep it up on the top of the screen. That has been looking at Evernote, OneNote, and Google Keep. For me personally, I prefer OneNote because of the classroom organizational structure. Evernote has some sim a lot of similarities between OneNote and Evernote, and then Google Keep I think is more of a note keeping, quick note keeping, a to-do list keeper, uh, and doesn't have as much as the organizational structure that OneNote and Evernote have.